doing, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have some more WWE action figure news for you guys. A lot of stuff coming at us here today. We got WWE figures that are going to be coming to us in the coming months in this year of 2021, possibly early 2022, but probably 2021 is what I would have to guess. Now, I think we're going to be pumped about some of these. Some of these you may be like, eh, but I think that we got a pretty good list of figures right here. These do come to us from my boy Christian from Unstable Tim. 47 definitely go get, give his channel a follow link to his channel is in the description below so definitely go check him out he's always on top of it he's really good about finding out leaks he's kind of like an insider in the figure world kind of he kind of you know what i'm saying he nudges in there he gets some information and we appreciate him for it so this video would not be possible without my man over there but today guys we're going to be diving into some figures that apparently we're going to be getting going into later 2021 and he has been correct many times in the past i think we've covered a lot of figures here on the channel that ended up coming to fruition. You can go back and watch all the different news videos from the past year or so or even maybe a year ago about upcoming figures and for the most, I would even say upwards of 90-95% to 95 of the time, these are accurate. These are definitely accurate. They may switch a series here and there. They may flip a figure here and there, but for the most part, these figures are probably, more than likely, 90% probably, I'd say more than 90% sure that we're going to be getting these figures in the coming year or at the beginning of next year. So let's go ahead and dive in, guys. Starting out first with Damian Priest. Now, this this one's a huge one. Ever since his debut at the Royal Rumble, he had a fantastic showing at the Royal Rumble, and he even showed up on the following Monday Night Raw, and I feel like Vince McMahon is very big on this guy. I'm not the biggest Damian Priest fan. He kind of reminds me of a better version of Trash Corbin. I still like him more than Trash Corbin, but he just kind of puts him in that light for me, but Damian Priest is a figure that we're going to be getting. I could definitely see this Elite fitting into the main Elite line. I think that would be really cool, unless there's like some unknown NXT series that's going to make a comeback, or an NXT series that's going to be coming out. I think Damian Priest will find his way into the main elite line sometime at the end of the year. I think, even though I'm not a big fan of Priest, I think that he would make for a pretty damn good figure, especially depending on the, you know, the formula that they use for the guy. But next up, guys, we have an NWO Cena. We're going to be getting an NWO Cena from WrestleMania with his match from The Fiend. You guys know that he came out and it was like a flashback. I love that match, by the way. I think it was the best cinematic match that we got all year long. Firefly Funhouse match, WrestleMania, Bray Wyatt versus John Cena. That match was absolutely incredible. But NWO Cena from that match is a figure that we're going to be getting. Now, I don't know the series of these figures just yet, and we don't know exactly if they're going to be elite or basic. That's what Christian said in his video, but I could see this definitely being a basic. I think an elite would. I can definitely see an elite being possible simply because they like to put John Cena out a lot, and John Cena hasn't been on TV since WrestleMania, so I would guess that they're going to try to look for a better reason to get his figure into the line, and I could see that being the NWO Cena from that matchup. I could just see that playing in. That just kind of works out in my brain because he hasn't worn a new attire. What better way to get seen in the line than to bring back that figure? So there you go. Next up, guys, is going to be Dominic Mysterio. Now, a lot of I know a lot of you guys are going to be excited about this. I get comments all the time on my on my figure news videos asking, where's our Dominic figure? When are we getting a Dominic figure? How about you make a custom Dominic figure? Well, good news is Dominic Mysterio is in the he's in the forefront. We can see him coming over the horizon and we'll see that Dominic Mysterio is going to be getting a figure. Now, whether that's a basic or an elite, I would imagine it would be a basic first, but yeah. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. What if we got a four-pack? You could get Dominic and Ray updated from 2020, and then you could do it way back in the day of a younger Dominic and a younger Ray. That would be a pretty damn good two-pack right there. Or, what if we did a three-pack and you did Eddie Guerrero versus Rey Mysterio with a little Dominic kid figure? Holy crap. Ringside exclusive three-pack. There you go. Next up, guys, is going to be Hurt Business. We got Cedric Alexander and Shelton Benjamin. You guys know that Cedric Alexander is one of my favorite wrestlers. I love Cedric Alexander. And Shelton Benjamin is also one of my favorite wrestlers ever. I'd say he's probably in my top 10, possibly top 12 or so like that for Shelton Benjamin. I always loved him growing up. Recent run has been decent, but for me, I really miss the single Shelton, and I, I really miss him getting in there and putting on those great TV matches, but they really haven't let that man do those things, so kind of hard to get it behind him these days. I do like his role in the Hurt Business and everything, but these guys are going to be getting updated figures. Now, I don't know if this is going to be a battle pack. I don't know if we're going to be getting separate elites in the same line or if they're going to be one line apart or what the deal is going to be, but I would probably guess maybe Elite 89 maybe in there, Elite 90, maybe Elite 88 somewhere in there. I could see these figures coming to fruition. Maybe even Elite 87. We do know that Elite 85 and 86 are going to be. I want to say we know what Elite 87 is. Maybe I'm tripping. I can't remember, but Shelton Benjamin and Cedric Alexander are 
are both getting figures, so that is something to note. I can't wait. I'm going to have to update it. I'm sure they're probably going to give him the Daniel Bryan torso, but, you know, having an updated Cedric is, is cool with me, and new Shelton Benjamins. Those allow for chase variants of throwback Shelton, so there's plenty of great possibilities there as well. Next up is going to be Sami Zayn. Now, you guys know the updated look of Sami Zayn. He's got the camo or the cargo type pants. He's got the longer hair, thicker hair. He's got the nice jacket, Intercontinental Championship. I would guess that this figure is going to come with the Intercontinental Championship, have the long hair, have the smiley face, you know, the, the cocky Sami Zayn. He'll probably have a hat. He may have a jacket. I don't know, but I would guarantee he comes with the Intercontinental Championship. He'll probably have a new pants mold, maybe a jacket. We'll have to see about that, but Sami Zayn is definitely going to be, be coming to us. I could definitely see that, and I guarantee, I don't want to guarantee, I'm not going to guarantee, but maybe we see all of these figures at San Diego Comic-Con, maybe. I know that's a few months away, but I could definitely see that taking place, maybe whether they're released, whether they're prototype, whether whatever. We need to come back to this video and see if all of these figures are either on display, we got to see the render image, or they're actually already made, so we'll have to come back to that. But Sami Zayn is next. Next up is going to be Jay Uso. Now, Jay Uso is a figure that I would like to see updated. You guys know he's been in a prominent role, especially in 2020. Yeah, you know, he kind of got his character elevated. He has been elevated by Roman Reigns as a whole. Can't wait for Jimmy to come back and elevate with him as well. But Roman Reigns and Jay Uso. So Jay Uso is going to get a updated figure. Hopefully, you know, his his hair mold will definitely be updated. I think that is absolutely the case. There's no doubt about that. That Jay Uso will have an updated head sculpt. Maybe we'll get the white sleeve. Maybe we'll get a cool Uso. Uso's cloth t-shirt or something like that. I just want it to be a cool attire. Maybe I can mix and match his attires with Roman, get some cooler looks for the Bloodline on MDT Live. That's what I'm worried about, so that'd be pretty cool there. We got a first time in the line right here, guys. It's going to be Shotzi Blackheart. So Shotzi Blackheart getting a figure. Now, since it is a women's figure and since it is, you know, Shotzi Blackheart from NXT, I would guarantee this is probably going to be a basic like they always do. You guys know the track record with basics in women's and NXT and everything like that. I feel like we always get a basic first. I mean, if you look at the like, look at the track record, Brad. Most of the time, it's literally like probably 98% of the time. There may be that one off or two off. That's not a basic, but I'm pretty sure this is going to be a basic figure. So Shotzi Blackheart will probably get a basic. It'd be cool to have an elite, maybe with her tank or something. That would be absolutely fantastic, like an entrance tank. The tank would have to be pretty damn big to fit her down in there because if you take a standard women's figure and you had to put it down in a mini tank, I don't even know if their articulation would call for it. So I don't know if that'll even be the case. But Shotzi Blackheart getting a figure. Next up, guys, we have a Legends figure, and it's going to be Bam Bam Bigelow. Now, I think my boy Christian said that this is going to be a Legends 10 figure. I can't remember if it's Legends. It may be a Legends 11 figure. I can't remember, but Bam Bam Bigelow is in the upcoming works, and also the guy that posted the AEW Series 4 and 5 images, you guys know the, the leaked images that we got, he also posted a photo of Bam Bam Bigelow, like kind of leading us to believe that maybe B Bam Bam Bigelow is for sure coming, so that's just something to think about, Bam Bam Bigelow getting another figure, you already know we have two elites of Bam Bam, so maybe we'll get another one here, and it looks likely to be so, can't wait to see what attire they go with for him. But in the photo image, I think it was his black and gray attire. Just have to see about that. But the last figure reveal that we have for you guys is going to be Molly Holly. Now, Molly Holly is a figure I would love to see, whether it's in the Legends line, whether it's in the main Elite line. And just like Christian said in his video about all of this, I think that there's so many different looks you could do for Molly Holly. You could do her Mighty Molly. You could do her You could do her older look. You could do her current look when she came back at the Royal Rumble, I do believe. And there's just a lot of options that they could do for that. But Molly Holly is the last one in the set, whether we get her in whatever set. I, I don't care what set we get her in. I'm, I'm all down for a Molly Holly figure. I think we need more throwback women's figures. I feel like we don't get near enough. Speaking of which, give us our Victoria figure from the John Brown Royal Rumble. Thank you so much. But that is pretty much going to do it for the figure reveals or the figure leaks that I got for you guys today. Again, no images or anything like that. We don't know the exact series or the basics or the elites or whatever, but I wanted to put this up anyways, let you guys know about it, let you guys see what it's about, and you guys can let me know what you think about it down in the comment section below. But a huge shout out to my man Christian again for the information. Before we get out of here, guys, let's get into our random shout out. This shout out is going to go to Chris Rooks, who says, did you notice Luchasaurus has his toes showing? He's not wearing boots. The reason that his toes are showing is 
is because he wears a specific type of uh, wrestling boot. They're not even boots, really. I'll pull up exactly what the shoes are. I don't know why he wears these. A lot of people wear these when they work out. A lot of people wear these when they they run. They're they're actually like these running Croc style shoes that apparently they give you better grip. They're more comfortable for your feet. They did like scientific studies or something on these shoes, and I guess Luchasaurus likes them, so he wears them with his wrestling attire. And you guys will see the shoes that I'm talking about. I was never a fan. I think they look like god awfulness, but you know it is what it is. I like I like sneakers. I like shoes. I like you know basketball shoes, things of that nature. I like Jays, Kobe's things of that nature, but these were never my style, Brad. I, I don't like these. I even like house shoes. I, I'd wear my damn Uggs up in that hoe and super kick somebody, but I ain't about to wear these. I'm not a fan of them, but that is why he wears that. That's why they actually have his toe showing is because they did a one-of-one -one sculpt, like we mentioned, of the shoes that he actually wears in the ring. So I thought that was pretty cool. But that's why he doesn't have boots on, if you guys wanted to know that. But huge shout-out to Chris Rooks for that comment. I'll answer questions, guys. If you want a question, maybe you can answer a question at the end of the videos. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Check out Unstable1047, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Don't cross the line.